What's up everyone? This is Tony with Journey Crypto. In this video, we're going to be going over a cryptocurrency market update and some huge cryptocurrency news over the past 24 hours as well. Before we get started, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell if you do want to be notified when I release new cryptocurrency videos. All right guys, so I just got set up in the new house and I just got the first computer set up. So uh, bear with me as I get everything situated and uh, back to normal on the channel. Please let me know if the sound is off or anything or if anything can be improved. I'm gonna be ordering some new stuff to improve the channel as well. So jumping into the cryptocurrency markets, uh, we did see Bitcoin test $50,000 again, uh, which is great. I'm gonna go over some news on why uh, Bitcoin has been recovering. So as I did mention in the past couple days, Cardano ADA with the Mary Hard Fork, uh, which was successful, uh, over 1,000 tokens have been minted on the Cardano blockchain already. A lot of them are just uh, coins where people are testing it and everything. But I do think we'll be seeing some huge projects starting to launch on the Cardano blockchain and some big announcements coming out of this as well. So I do see ADA uh, moving up still throughout March. But right now we actually have Litecoin up 6%, um, around $185. And I do think uh, March is gonna be huge for Litecoin, and I do have some news around that as well. So we should have PayPal crypto merchant payments launching sometime in March. If PayPal does uh, stick to what they stated uh, for quarter one for the crypto merchant payment launch, that should be sometime this month. Also, Litecoin has uh, their privacy feature being tested mid-March. So that's gonna be huge, making Litecoin the only top 10 cryptocurrency with both a public transaction and private transaction option, I think is massive. So because I was moving, I didn't really have the time to do the trades I would have wanted to in the new altcoin trading series, turning 1,000 into $10,000 throughout 2021. I would have definitely sold ADA um, above $1.40 around the day before the Mary Hard Fork. Uh, that did dip off, but I'm just gonna hold this out. Um, Litecoin and Engine are up from where I bought them as well. I'm going to be holding Litecoin out as well and probably picking up some more Litecoin in that trading series. So I will do an update video on that trading series here in the next couple of days and show you guys what altcoins I'm going to be trading and how much profit we've made as well. We're up pretty good already, especially on Engine. That pretty much did a 2x from where we bought it in just a very short period of time. Um, so Engine is leading up to that NFT launch uh, for Minecraft, which is massive. Yeah, see, this is already uh, closing in on 90 cents here. So we bought this at 45 cents in that video. So I'm actually regretting not buying more Engine outside of the trading series. Just because I've been moving in everything, I really didn't have the time to move funds around. But we did uh, basically do a 2x in the trading series, which is a great start. We're up pretty huge on Cardano ADA. Uh, we're up a small amount on litecoin as well but uh this was more of a hold throughout march which i did state in that video which is why i didn't buy uh, too much litecoin in that video so uh, i will be flipping some coins maybe picking up one smaller altcoin as well in the next video so stay tuned for that so jumping into the crypto news we have ethereum now available on amazon managed blockchain Amazon Web Services uh, users reportedly have the ability to provision Ethereum nodes and connect to the blockchain's mainnet and other testnets. So it's going to be very interesting if we see Amazon get into cryptocurrency in any way, even if it's just blockchain or NFTs or something, it's going to be massive for the crypto space. We're seeing a lot of mass adoption for cryptocurrencies and blockchain, uh, which we have some big announcements in this video. So uh, like we said, Litecoin is trading at a 1800% premium via Grayscale's Litecoin Trust. So that's pretty huge as well that Litecoin is in Grayscale's uh, services with a Litecoin Trust. Investors looking to gain Litecoin exposure using traditional equities are willing to pay a premium of more than 1800% to buy it via Grayscale Litecoin Trust. Uh, pretty huge here. I do think leading up to PayPal launch, of merchant payments we're gonna get thousands of announcements of new merchants accepting payment um, in the cryptocurrencies that are on paypal and there's only four cryptos on paypal right now bitcoin ethereum litecoin and bitcoin cash and litecoin is the cheapest coin that is on paypal only 12.2 billion dollar market cap which if litecoin got to one thousand dollars 
um, that would still be less than a 100 billion dollar market cap and uh, many people consider litecoin the silver to bitcoin being the gold so um at a uh under 100 billion dollar market cap for litecoin uh with uh bitcoin closing in on one trillion that would still be a around one tenth the market cap of bitcoin so i think that's very possible throughout 2021 especially if the privacy features uh work and they're good and we start getting thousands of merchants accepting litecoin as payment uh, a lot more mass adoption for litecoin and cryptocurrencies in general and a lot of people that are new to crypto they want to stack multiple coins so litecoin being the cheapest option on paypal people will pick up litecoin just because of this um, so i think there's massive potential here i do like litecoin a lot more than bitcoin cash as well so more great news for mass adoption shark tanks kevin o'leary announced he's allocating three percent of his entire portfolio to bitcoin and cryptocurrency this is pretty huge he announced this on twitter uh, just yesterday um, so we are getting more and more people uh, getting into cryptocurrencies understanding it um, and as it becomes more and more mainstream that'll just build the trust for it and build more and more demand and as we did see jp morgan state uh, they will get into bitcoin eventually but the demand is not there yet so i do see by end of 2021 big companies like that finally jumping in to bitcoin and cryptocurrency and offering services we also had visa mastercard and paypal all announcing they will be offering cryptocurrency services as well so as all of that's rolling out throughout 2021, crypto becomes more and more accessible, which means more and more people are going to be buying it as demand rises. And that's just, good, uh, just going to make more and more companies like a snowball effect. And I definitely think um, towards end of 2021, we're definitely going to be peaking and uh, much higher than the current market cap. So more massive news here, we are getting closer to a Bitcoin ETF in the United States. CBOE files to list Van X proposed Bitcoin ETF. This is just massive and will definitely help in mass adoption as well. Exposure to Bitcoin through an ETP also presents certain advantages for retail investors compared to buying spot Bitcoin directly. The most notable advantage is the use of the custodian to custody the trust's Bitcoin asset. So uh, we'll see how this goes. We've been hearing about Bitcoin ETFs since the last bull market, and we um, everyone thought there was going to be one around the last bull uh, market, but it didn't happen. So hopefully we get one in 2021. That will definitely help aid in mass adoption. So musician Grimes' debut NFT auction generates $5.8 million in 20 minutes. We're getting a lot of musicians starting to do NFTs, a lot of celebrities as well. Raising millions of dollars in just uh, minutes is just insane. So Grimes is actually Elon Musk's girlfriend, and they do have a, a kid together. So um, we are going to be seeing NFTs become more and more popular. And this is definitely a great thing. Definitely check out my recent video I did on Gods Unchained. You can actually earn NFTs through this game. And as the game becomes more popular, these NFTs can be worth more and more. So someone um, that watched that video that I just did on Gods Unchained, they actually bought a $25 legendary pack and they got a card in there that was worth eight Ethereum. And that's at the current um, market. As the game gets more popular, people will be willing to pay more for those cards uh, just to be more competitive and have uh, better, uh, more rare cards as well. So I am actually looking into creating some of my own NFTs, which I will be announcing eventually here. Um, we are going to be launching the crypto membership pre-sale very soon as well. I did announce that for March 7th. So if you guys are interested in that, I will be announcing more details on that in the upcoming few days. So NFTs are bringing a lot of attention to cryptocurrencies as well, which is great. A lot of celebrities launching their own NFTs. I do think the future of art and collectibles is going to be on the blockchain through NFTs, which is just massive. Uh, so this definitely aids in mass adoption as well, which is great. So Doge is now supported at 1800 ATMs in 45 US states. US citizens can now purchase Dogecoin from ATMs in 45 of the 50 states uh pretty interesting here elon musk tweeting about doge once again uh so we did get um hints of elon musk creating his own cryptocurrency which i did talk about in a previous video he did hint at the cardano mary hard fork as well so we'll see that would be crazy if he launched a uh his own version of dogecoin on the cardano blockchain 
Um, I definitely think something like that could really make crypto mass adoption explode as well. So hopefully uh, he does do something like that in the upcoming few weeks. Bitcoin price hits $50,000 after bullish outlook from Citigroup and Goldman Sachs. Uh, more uh, great opinions bringing more uh, mass adoption to crypto. Bullish maneuvers from MicroStrategy, Goldman Sachs, and Citigroup are just a few of the factors backing Bitcoin's rally back to 50000 So we dropped as low, um, I believe around $42,000 Bitcoin. It bounced back up with that bullish uh, sentiment from these massive institutions. Um, at the same time, we did have the Merry Hard Fork happening and the price dipped a little bit. Uh, but it didn't even dip below one dollar so it's very possible we never see cardano ada below one dollar again which is just crazy to think about so last time i called that was when uh cardano ada passed 30 cents um back just a few weeks ago i said it's probably never going to drop below 30 cents and it hasn't it went straight upwards of course that matters on um how everything is doing in the crypto space but Pretty much everything is bullish right now. I do think that minor correction is um, about to be over. And as everyone new to the crypto space continues to accumulate and buy these dips and buy up more cryptocurrency, um, a lot of the whales that are selling are gonna run out of uh, the crypto that they're dumping. And uh, we will be moving upwards again, uh, leading into the PayPal crypto merchant payments, Visa, MasterCard launching Bitcoin services, institutions that continue buying as well. All very bullish for this year. So Michael Saylor once again buying Bitcoin. The CEO of MicroStrategy just keeps buying Bitcoin. Um, so they have over a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. He bought the majority around $20,000 throughout 2020. And he continues dollar cost averaging because he knows where Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are headed in the future. Michael Saylor announced MicroStrategy's acquisition of another $15 million worth of Bitcoin as MicroStrategy continues to dollar cost average into Bitcoin. So that shows extreme confidence that he's willing to continue dollar cost averaging. He's not just holding what he bought around 20,000. He continues buying. He's talked about Bitcoin um, absorbing the entire market cap of gold and passing the market cap of gold as well, which gold is over $10 trillion market cap. Bitcoin alone is barely around $1 trillion. So that's another 10X from here, uh, which would put Bitcoin around $500,000. And he has talked about Bitcoin getting to $1 million as well. Of course, that is very far out. But as we uh, progress in the crypto space and we get more mass adoption, uh, the governments continue printing fiat currency and inflation starts kicking in. I really think we're going to see the effects of all of this start playing out over uh, 2021, which is why I've been so bullish in general. So that's about it for today's crypto news update. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, a free way to support the channel is like the video, comment below, and share this video anywhere on social media or with friends and family. I will be doing a video update on the trading series as well. If you guys do want to catch that first episode, I do recommend watching that. And um, I will be doing an update on my other trading series on Binance US soon as well. So again, if you guys see any differences in the video quality, please let me know because I just set everything up again and some things may be a little off from previously. Um, if the sound is different or anything else, um, I am going to be setting up the video quality a little better. I'm ordering a new camera and a uh, new microphone and stuff. So um, trying to improve the channel as much as possible. And uh, we're going to be launching some uh, products here. I'm hiring some people as well uh, to really bring as much value as possible to the crypto space. So again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys found it useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.